relationship advice update my 22 male fiance 21 female caught up with a friend and began to question our engagement original post hey all my fiance together three years didn't physically cheat on me but she became emotionally invested with a guy she used to have feelings for in november i discovered that she was sending him selfies of her outfits for work photos of what we were doing such as carving pumpkins for Halloween, and texting non-stop throughout the workday, mainly about pointless stuff. One night, she asked if we could watch a show on Netflix, which I later found out he was mentioning in their conversation. The last message he sent revealed how he felt for my fiancé, and said it's in your court now. My fiancé responded with something like, oh wow. That's a lot to take in. I need to figure out what I'm doing here, but until then, we shouldn't talk. She then took a screenshot of the convo and sent it to her best friend. Who said, whoa, what are you going to do? This is not the first time she messaged this guy. Last year, she was catching up with him too. She told him, she liked him, but is with me and thought her feelings were wrong. I found out about the texts. She turned off notifications for his messages on iMessage and Facebook. I confronted her. She said she knew it would hurt me, but she did it anyways. I asked for the ring back went to my parents for a week. After talking to friends, who told me to end it since this wasn't the first time, I said, I have to give it one final chance and see what she does, and we have been trying to work through things since. I am seeing a counselor, and so is she. We want to do couples therapy, but want to figure out what we want first. We talked about again last night, and she said she never flirted with him, yet she admitted she may have a little bit when I found out. I feel like I'm running in circles with her. I'm stress eating, grinding my teeth and struggling to forgive. This wasn't the first time with the guy, and she said it wouldn't happen again last time. I am scared for our future and she's always saying she loves me. I feel like it's because she got caught though, and almost lost me. Any advice is welcome. I am scared this would have led to physical cheating at some point. Now for the top advice before reading the update. Emotional affair is cheating. Dude, you fiancé is not marriage material, she failed miserably at that. Don't marry this person because heartbreak and misery is coming. Do it now before kids are involved. Any advice is welcome. Absolutely do not marry this person. Emotional cheating, is cheating. Do not wait for D-Day number 3, leave now. She is your fiancé. That means she should be in the honeymoon period, at the height of her love for you, butterflies in her belly and all. This is a stage when the thought of another guy wouldn't even cross her mind, and yet she's already entertaining a suitor? Questioning your relationship? Wondering who to be with? If she's like this now, how will she feel about you 3 to 5 to 10 years from now, when reality bites with mortgage, car payments, screaming children, and annoying mother-in-laws? Do you think she will love you more than now, when she's berating you for leaving the toilet seat up? Withholding intimacy because you never organize the food in the fridge the way she likes, jams on the door, and cabbages on the drawers? Two strikes man. She's out. Don't wait for the third. With this comment here, we can turn off the lights and shut the door. From start to finish this is the real, you can make the move now, no one would blame you. I can't see investing into an already precarious relationship. Dude, if your relationship is this hard when you two should still be in the honeymoon slash young love phase, then it is going to get infinitely worse after you get married. This isn't a woman to build your life with. She's not the port that will help shelter you in the storm, she's the stone who will sink you to the bottom. Thank you all. I have read all of the comments and I agree with everything you have all said. While it is tough, you're all right. Financially, I am a very safe bet, and she has gone behind my back numerous times. This is very similar to a relationship I had in high school and I keep getting the same vibes. I wanted to vent and I'm thankful for the input. Let's hope we all find someone we deserve soon. And now for the update. Thank you all for the advice, I know many of you said I would not take it, but I did. Yesterday I went on my ex's computer, and found a conversation from a year ago with her friend that I did not know about. Talking about dreams, weird flirty banner, and discussions about pop culture that I thought I got her into, hindsight, it all lines up. She knew in 2019 that there was something there, and was not sure how she felt then, we were still dating at that point and not engaged. I also found out she was wanting to break up with me 4 weeks ago. She also broke my boundary of social distancing, and saw a friend who has been in contact with someone with COVID, opinions aside, 
She never told me and my family had a few high-risk people. We talked last night. I told her about my new findings, and said it's over. She needs to explore her feelings for the other guy, who looks half as good as me, and is nowhere near financially stable. She agreed and I got the ring back. After lots of tears, I started to discuss the lease and finances. She's shitting bricks, since 80% of our things are mine or my family's. She had been using my car and relied on me to get her apartment. Even with a roommate, she will struggle. I wish nothing bad to happen to her, but she should have thought about all that before questioning our relationship. I have to quarantine until I can move back to my parents for now. It's a weird limbo. It sucks, but I see the light at the end. I'm sad about the good memories, but know if this didn't happen, she'll explore feelings with other guys if we did get married. Have a great boss who told me to take the next few days off, and great friends who have been talking me through this. I'm thankful for COVID, as it caused a delay in our wedding, which would have been one week before D-Day. Thank you for the support Reddit. We all know we deserve better and I know there's someone out there who will love me unconditionally. Now time to heal. Peace and love. Don't worry buddy. In the future you look back and realize you're better off without her. I know it's a cliche, but hit the gym hard, it's so worth it or work out from home. When the virus is gone, you will be in demand and you will be able to pick whoever you want. God bless you and happy new year buddy. Happy new year as well. My buddy's in good shape, and now I want to catch up to him. Get that six pack and become a gem to a new lady. Great OP, she's going to find out she screwed up a great relationship with an awesome guy. Also, don't give her any more financial support, let the other dude do it. He will probably just hit it a few times and then drop her. Don't ever take her back, I'm sure you want, you are too smart for that crap. Best of luck OP, you are awesome, stay strong. Explore feelings for another guy, and then you would consider taking her back if it doesn't work out? I seriously am starting to think the spines in the west have turned to jelly. No, no, and just no. Once she's out that door there is no coming back, and she should know it before she leaves. Since she feels it's okay to go explore, code speak for rubbing uglies, she should be out the door already with no choice in the matter. Negative chief. I'm out. There are better women in the world and she belongs on the streets. Now for the next story. My, 21 male, girlfriend, 23 female, just accidentally openly admit to cheating on me in front of all of her friends while on vacation, and I'm stuck here until January 3rd. So, my girlfriend and I have been dating for almost a year and she asked me to go on a trip with her to a cabin, and spend New Year's and meet some of her close friends. I was skeptical about going because I'm an EMT and I transport COVID patients. My job tests us every two to three weeks, and on the 26th I tested negative, so I told her I'd go, but I'd feel bad if I gave it to one of her friends. She assured me that it would only be us and four other people, so I said okay. Once we turned up, and there's was eight other people at this cabin. So, we're sitting in the living room and exchanging gifts, and one of her friends that I do know got me a gift. I opened it and it was a pair of underwear from my favorite football team. And my girlfriend said, whatever happened to those underwear you had with the skull and crossbones? I replied, I don't own any underwear with skull and crossbones. And God I wish she dropped it there, but she insisted on saying, remember, you stuck your member through the pee hole and said, want a bone? And I jokingly replied, you must have me mixed up with your side dude. And almost instantly, all of her emotions left her face, and you can see the guilt and shame come in. Everyone seen and it got kinda quiet, and I just straight up said, are you freaking serious, did you cheat on me? And she looked away, got up and left. I followed her into our room. Now I'm generally not a very loud aggressive person, but I was kinda drunk. The first thing I said was, what the hell? And all she could say was, I'm sorry. And I got really loud and said, you had me travel 6 hours on a trip to meet your friends, just for me to find out you cheated on me in front of all of them. More words were exchanged between us. I don't care who she cheated with and why. There's no justification. I broke up with her instantly. This happened a few hours ago, and I feel so embarrassed and alone. I'm here in this cabin alone, because everyone went snowboarding and I advised her to go with, because I don't want to see or speak to her. My exact words were, if you stay in this cabin alone with me, I'll probably end you. I was so angry and I didn't mean it. I just feel so bad because now, I'm stuck here with people I don't know until we leave. I didn't even want to come here and I don't know what to do. I feel stupid, like everyone will just look at me like such an idiot. Now for the top advice. 
Wow, I'm so sorry. It's rough enough to find out you've been cheated on, but to find out publicly by accident? Your girlfriend should be the one that's embarrassed. You're not an idiot, and regardless of them being your now ex-girlfriend's friends, they should shame her for it, and if they aren't, they're horrible people too. Are there any other cabins or hotels you check into until the third? Have you spoken to any of your own friends and family for some support, and so you do not feel so isolated? I haven't told my best friend, she's spending time with her boyfriend, and I don't want to kill their holiday mood. If this happened to my best friend, I would want to know the soon as possible to support them, do not see your emotions as a burden, this is what friendships and support systems are for. Please contact someone close to you, so you are not feeling alone during this time. Maybe someone could even pick you up for a bit of gas money. Also, I saw you cannot leave because she is your ride home, and it's a 6 hour car journey, so if you do end up having to ride home with her, make sure you agree to not speak, and even put headphones in. She may try and use the time to manipulate you into forgiving her. Edit, actually, if she had any decency, she would take you home ASAP and you should ask her to. She's the one that's put you in this awful position and you shouldn't have to suffer through it so she can still have a trip with her friends when she unintentionally admitted to cheating on you in front of them. You shouldn't have to stay there for her, you deserve to go home. I could tell my best friend, I know she'd understand, but I'm just not the type of person who likes to be exposed. That was especially if I'll be pulling her away. I'll deal with it until I can tell her in a few days, I think I'll be okay, hence why I'd rather tell compete strangers. That's rough. I found out my ex cheated on me at my brother's wedding, so I get that pain, this was my wife and mother of my children. I assume you don't have transportation out of there, if so, leave her there with her friends, could anyone come get you? I know talking to people about this would suck, but it would be better than staying there with her. 6 hours away from home in the middle of butt freak Tennessee, with snow as high as my knees, no one is driving here for me. Now for the last story. Ex wayward wife reached out to me after months of no contact. Long story short, earlier this year, I found out that my ex-wife of nearly two years, was in a year plus affair with an old colleague. To make matters worse, we were in a dead bedroom. The last time we had intimacy was shortly before the wedding. I even put us in marriage counseling for eight months, and it failed. D-Day destroyed me. I found out the affair went on throughout and long after marriage counseling. She even invited her affair partner over our house a few times. I know I tried everything to save our marriage. I filed immediately. I was in a bad place for a while. But thanks to individual counseling and support from friends and family, I'm doing so much better and it shows. I've been doing pretty well since then. I'm more social, and I focus on my diet and exercising. I've been able to save a ton of money, and plan to buy a house in the near future. I've even met a great girl unintentionally. She's been through something similar, so we've both agreed to take things slow as friends as of now. Yesterday, my ex-wife reached out. My friends said that she would eventually, but I didn't believe them. She said that she didn't mean to hurt me, and hates how things ended. She is asking for my forgiveness. She says I'm a good man, and hopes that my pain from her betrayal doesn't destroy my next relationship. I guess she is dealing with the regret and shame of her actions. My best friend told me not to respond. Back on D-Day, she apologized, and said that she won't be able to live with herself because of her actions. When she got served without notice, she became rude and mean. I guess that anger came from guilt and regret. I'm doing so well, and now I have weird feelings. I want to feel bad for her, but I know that she brought this upon herself. To be honest, I forgave her on D-Day, but I knew that I needed to remove myself from the toxic marriage. I really wanted us to work. Looking back on my marriage, I was emotionally mistreated. Just looking for some words of advice and support. Now for the top advice. Listen to what your best friend is telling you. Don't respond. This, no contact until you die. She might try to validate her actions by knowing you are now okay, want to worm her way back in your life slash rekindle the relationship, or try some other kind of mind screw. This, there's only one thing she wants from you, closure. She knows the chance she'd get back in is slim to none. She wants closure. A reason to start forgiving herself and to move on even at the expense of poking holes in your peace of mind. A four-page rant of scathing remarks would be closure to her, a reason to never truly process how she ended up where she is, and move on with her life. Don't give it to her. If there's ever any being a better person for her, 
She needs to suffer through where she is right now regardless. She's testing the waters. Ignore her. Do not be fooled into this. She will drag you back in if you let her. Buy your best friend something expensive. He knows the score. Don't respond. You've moved on. Either she is wanting to assuage her conscience, or is trying to manipulate you. Don't fall for it. Once you've been thrown out of the leper colony, why would you want to crawl back in? A year-long affair, where she had intimacy and you didn't. She put her needs above yours. She lied, misled and deceived you, for at least a year. She wants forgiveness, for what? For the lying? Or the cheating with another man? Or letting you waste two years of your life on her? I'm sorry man. But no. The forgiveness is again, something to make herself feel better, not for you. Tell her if she really does feel bad about what she did, then she needs to accept that what you two had is over, because of her actions, to respect your feelings not to contact you again, and let you get on with your life. Yeah, the old bait and switch. She married you knowing she wasn't going to give you any intimacy. She had another dude in mind for that. What a vile witch. Continue no contact. And that's it for this video guys, if you have thoughts to share, leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you like this content. I'll catch you in the next one. Good day everyone.